In this video, you're gonna get the funniest reactions from celebrities and Americans in general to Donald Trump losing the US 2020 presidential election to Joe Biden. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. To uh, Pennsylvania, we really, really are so happy and we have a wonderful president now. Bad things happen in Philadelphia, bad things. Could you imagine if I lose my whole life? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna say, I lost to the worst candidate in the history of politics. I'm not gonna feel so good. Maybe I'll have to leave the country, I don't know. We've won with the most votes ever cast on presidential ticket in the history of the nation. 74 million. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good morning, y'all. Woke up to some great news. And then I told y'all yesterday when I posted, I haven't been fuzzed because I knew we was gonna win. God knows better. You know what I'm saying? And let me tell you something. You know why God put Joe Biden in place? Because you Trump supporters were getting out of line. Y'all was becoming real bullies. And as much as I want to tell you to suck my. I'm going to retract that and take that back. But let me tell y'all something. Y'all been putting me for so for a hot minute. Ever since I started talking to just say Bernie, yo, these Trump supporters that got blue check on Twitter, y'all be coming at me every week for attention. Y'all be coming at me for attention. Y'all try to scare my sister off. Um, I'm, I'm ready for a change. And don't be acting no scared and everything. Y'all acting like Joe Biden is going to kick y'all out this country y'all still an american at the end of the day he still care for you so much to everybody that voted this is unbelievable i am so happy i am i am through the roof and i wanted to say thank you to everybody that changed their mind or just you know got out there and voted even if you voted for the first time whatever don't let anybody tell you your voice does not matter that your vote does not matter it was so close and it's because of you guys pushing through that we <laughs> what thank you for caring about the climate about women's rights about social justice about oh. i cannot say thank you enough i am so happy right now i love you guys be safe Hey, uh, I got a report of fraud for y'all. I think I'm in uh, I'm in South Carolina. You may have your name, please. Uh, my name is Robert. Yep, and last name. Uh, Hudson, H U D S O N. And what county are you in, in South Carolina? I'm in Dorchester County. All right, and what is your report? Well, I had a report. So 
I had a report that there were some blacks that were voting. Is that legal? election breakdown. I'm sorry for the conservatives just learning about the Supreme Court and what they do, but no, they will not save you from this loss. Sure, the Trump campaign is suing, but it's over 40 and 50 ballots. As far as I know, they don't have any fraud to point to. You can find all of the articles you want online that you don't understand, but there are fact checkers that go over these articles and find out what's going on. Don't start telling me about dead people voting, you didn't want to listen to us in 2000. They check the people that have voted against death certificate databases. And people do die before the election. The Supreme Court does not declare a winner. They only decide issues of law. And Trump doesn't have one f credible case out in the country with the exception of Pennsylvania. And it's not even a fraud case. On to the election. North Carolina is being extremely tight-lipped about how many ballots they have out. Could be that it's several hundred thousand and gonna get Biden the state. Alaska is one hell of a long shot. Everything else is going great and Trump is broke. It's over. Game man. Hey. You guys, I know it's been a long day, but I really don't like that we're breezing over the fact that yesterday Trump said they were holding a huge press conference at the Four Seasons Hotel and then they accidentally <laughs> Total landscaping and Rudy Giuliani. <laughs>